There's no score. Seven six down, he knows the importance of this frame. Eight six, first to nine. What's he spotted in the middle of this bunch? There's a couple of reds there that look they're not too far off being a plant, but it all depends what he does with the other red to knock it onto that. So you'd have to cue that one perfectly because if he doesn't hit it right, he's gonna squeeze this away from the pocket and the balls are gonna go all over the table. So this would be, it looks to be on if he could get to it direct. Well, hold on to your hats, there's going to be, <laughs> he doesn't want to risk it either. Neil's back looking at the plant, but he's got that other red that the white careered into as it flew around the table. Well, it was a good pot, but... Uh... Maybe not that good, but just relieved to see a ball go in a pocket. <laughs> well, the only red it looks as if you can get onto is the one to the middle pocket. You know, the one just to the left of the pink. Yeah, it goes in the corner as well as the middle pocket, so. Four. <coughs> Five. Hmm, interesting choice of shot. Maybe if it hit the second red a little bit forward, it would cut in this. But it's a thin one, a lot thinner than it looks. And he'll go careering into the cluster. Now, as you look, it's not bad, he's got one to the right middle. <clears throat> Twelve. Like you, I thought for a moment there, they're all going to cover each other, and then all of a sudden that one just landed close to the middle pocket. Just making sure that he doesn't cannon into the green or brown. Thirteen. Yeah. That seemed to kick on him slightly. Which just meant that the cue ball didn't travel and finish on the green as he would have liked. Now he's looking at the long blue. Didn't play for the blue. And the green's hampering him slightly to take the blue on. Nineteen. Yeah, I don't 
don't know if the red's available into the middle, but he can cut one into the left corner. Plenty of action on that cue ball. Twenty-seven. Played it nicely. This is a good chance to build up a sizable lead here. Before this match started, that it could go all the way. There's every indication that that still might apply. But the um, black having a good old clean there. He must have spotted a chalk mark or something. On. And sometimes it's they're difficult to get off. Forty-one. Neil Robertson, good field calling and all his experience. Don't forget this man has won six ranking titles. In 2010 48. he was world champion and world open champion. Forty-nine. So his break this evening has been a break of 56. 55. So this coming at just the right time for the Australian. So 62 points in front. Is this red in the colour? 63. And it'll be all square. Lost the first two frames of the match and got it back to two each. Two behind this evening. And that now puts him 68 points in front, 68. with just 67 remaining. Sixty-nine. And that makes absolutely certain that we're going to be all square. Seventy-three. 
ran out of position. We've had 29 centuries this year in the UK Championship. That's not a bad effort. What a shot that is. 74. <laughs> you won't see a better pot than that. Okay, no pressure on it, but what a cutback that was. He's made two centuries uh, this year. In this particular tournament, he's made 29 centuries this season. 79. Are these reds, one of them, may a pot in the left corner, that's what he's looking at. The frame that we had the re rack when Judd was 15 in front, and there seemed to be a little bit of a stalemate. No Lee century Robertson break, but underpin. Lee Robertson won't worry about that. What a time to produce the highest break of the session, as far as he's concerned. That break of 83 draws the Australian level. It's 7 all, it's getting tense.